it was all driven by being sympathetic to that original footprint. When designing it, we had these wonderful angel oaks. Looking at the design of Seven Lower Waverly, Horton sort of honored that footprint, not to build on it, not to replicate it, and to preserve its sort of outline. I'm Mark Moresca. I'm the architect on this project. I have a firm in Charleston and in Greenville called Moresca & Associates. It was designed to look like a house that had evolved over years. It was never intended to look like a history house or a reproduction, but a house that would, would bring back memories and would, look, would seem familiar and would kind of pull on your heartstrings. Houses in the 17th and 18th century the early houses in Charleston were often influenced by Barbados. There were several plantation houses that were on the Waccama and along Goose Creek that had step parapets and they were covered in stucco or tabby over brick. And those were some of the earlier forms of architecture. When designing this house, I took a lot of those cues to, to give this house a real sense of sort of place. Emulated a hunting lodge, something that you would have seen on the coast. This main room is always animated by light coming from all directions, which makes it a magical base all during the day. All the other rooms in the house, whether they be the master bedroom, the guest rooms, sleeping porch, master bath, kitchen, all have three exposures. So it was designed very carefully in, in a way that that same sort of element of light coming in animates the house with the idea that it should sort of blend with nature. All the colors in the house are colors that we formulated for this house. They were all based on colors that you would find in the marsh. And they were all the golds of the reeds and the pale greens of Spanish moss and darker colors of bark. Those color threads run through the whole house. The sense of being at ease with nature was, was there subconsciously. a carriage house which was designed which is a one and a half story structure and it's been designed so that when you approach it you have a passageway and it is a an arched masonry tunnel where you can bring a horse through and it's very reminiscent of those outbuildings that you would see in any beautiful old house in the south Again, connecting that carriage house was like most hyphens. The images that came to mind were images of mid 18th century houses, um, houses that had aged slate roofs and stucco with patina and simple sort of window surrounds and delicate sort of um, rustic chamfered columns. Um, forms that were familiar to South Carolina, but not imitative. I think the other sort of concept was houses evolve over time. Like a lot of old houses was designed as if it had a sense of history. 